and take one. How's my hair? Is it good? Hello, good people. Hello, good people. My name is Mimi, and I'm here today with... I'm here. What's your name? My name is... My name is... My name is... Slim Shady. I'm Slim Shady. Hi, everybody. It's Ben Lerner, and I'm here with Mimi. Hi, guys. And uh, This is our second interview video. Right. Why are we doing an interview video, Ben? We are uh, very concerned with the climate in uh, Southeast Asia, and we decided to uh, to meet up and, and discuss the, the circumstances. Let's get our tea. Um, so listen, I uh, I hear you have a. I have a song coming out. You have a song coming out. I have a song coming out in in very soon. How, how soon is December 31st, which is going to be pretty much the last day of the calendar year. Limisparo. So what's uh, what's your um, New Year's message for the world? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I signed up to give a New Year's message. You certainly did, Ben. I did not realize that. <laughs> it's been a very cool year. And before 2022, um, I did have some music out, but it was it was under a, a very different name. And 2022 was the year where I really started putting out music somewhat consistently. And my goal was to put out a song a month, and I failed, which is fine. But this will be song number four of the year. Mm. Did you know that, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. I did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> You didn't meet your goal of putting out a song a month. Um, and not only that, I feel like you have... Other failures. Other failures. That you're just ignoring. Yeah, pretty much what I'm trying to say is... Do better. Do better. Do better. Be best. Be best. I think the last thing about the song actually were the words cynical world. That was the last thing to happen. Meaning you wrote all the other lyrics before. Yeah, I had this chorus that's been in my head for probably a year already. Uh, pull up the blinds, let the light in, everyone knows the truth, you're not worried about starving. Which is a conversation I had with someone who was very nervous around COVID time that he would starve. Oh. And did you know this? No. No, I had a friend. He was, I mean, he's still my friend and he was actually nervous that due to COVID he would go hungry and I was thinking like is hunger really a problem let's face it are any of us here today going to go hungry yeah well some people will this is uh this is an international platform yeah if you're uh if you're watching this from your home in a third world country and you are hungry just comment leave a comment leave a comment <laughs> leave a comment we want to hear from you <laughs> are any of you hungry are you hungry <laughs> leave a comment below subscribe tell us how hungry you are it's a very first world problem kind of song talking about how when you have your basic needs met food shelter um Korea satira dominate with a minion you kind of start thinking about like oh like how am i doing you know how how impressive am i to other people you know and how that could sometimes make you feel like hey the world really sucks which i don't feel at all by the well, way well i was that was going to be my next question yeah, because yeah. i always accuse you of being cynical yeah and a lot of people do and we even have documented videos of me being accused of being cynical yeah how do you feel about everyone accusing you of being cynical the wrong but hopefully by by releasing the song I, I can get that cynicism out of me and become like a, a very optimistic and happy person mm. comment down below if you think Benjamin should be more controversial less cynical more controversial and hungry I recently went off coffee is that controversial? Incredibly controversial. Comment down below <laughs> if you are hungry <laughs> and like coffee. <laughs>
Are you tired? I, I'm not tired, but I feel like I lost my brain. And it's been a few months already. And I'm, I'm a zombie now. I'm just a zombie. No, I mean, there are other kicks, like heroin. Sure. Comment below. <laughs> does this have caffeine, by the way? It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, it's herbal. Oh, God. I'm not. What do you have? Oh, you have it's the blood the orange. blood orange. I have the sleepy time. Wow. Mug. <laughs> to the credit of the song, we actually did this one live. When? At Rockwood Music Hall. You did Cynical World Live? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I, I, I know that I did. No, you didn't. I know that I did. Everybody knows the truth. You're not worried about sorrow. It was a great show. I don't know that I thank people enough for coming, but they should really thank me for doing the show. I have a lot of excitement in my heart for 2023. Even though I didn't do 12 songs this year. Um, there's a fly in the room. There's a fly in the room. Well, then you have to cut. Okay. Oh, gosh. In this song, we I incorporated a lot of this chord. Some kind of diminished chord. Bet. Yes. What's a diminished chord? That's a good question. So most chords that we hear are major chords and minor chords. This one is a diminished chord. Do you hear how it sounds different? I hear how it sounds different. Do you hear how it sounds different? So how about you play a major, you play minor, and now you play a diminished. You hear that? You get it? You get it? You get it? <laughs> <laughs> what is using a lot of diminished chord due to the feel? That is a great question. Yes, it is. It's a sad chord, the diminished chord. Oh. It's a sad chord. It might be a half diminished, by the way. I always get confused between diminished and half diminished. It was a very cool year. We did song after song after song after music video and what a great way to end the year wow that was a great ending then yeah and i'd like to wish you all a shabbat shalom thanks for tuning in bye